Here's the Schrader valve kit that I got off of Amazon. The Schrader valve that I needed for the Civic is this one right here with the bigger threads on it. I had bought some from Advance Auto and I should have them. Not sure where I put them at, but that universal kit didn't fit. So I, I, I went ahead and took the Schrader valve out of the Civic and so I could look at it. And uh, I think I paid 11 bucks for this kit. Comes with like four or six Schrader valves, the Schrader valve tool, and then the high and low caps for shallow and deep. So now I already put it on the car and um, have zero leaks with it. I put a vacuum on the system and ran that for about 30 minutes. Checked the vacuum for another 30 minutes. No leaks. And I put Freon in it and it seems to be working fine. I haven't put a thermometer on the um, vents, but it seems to be pretty cold just by, you know, filling the vents and everything else so we're good to go on that as of now but uh i'll check back on it later just to you know make sure how it's running so Left East Coast Gear Supply. They're over here at uh, Airport Boulevard in Lewisburg. So came over here. I needed a torch socket to get my um, stub shaft off because I just brought the whole div, and uh, they got me squared away. So I'm gonna make my journey back to the house, and then I'll take a video of um, what the diff looks so you can see it it's really clean all right go ahead hit the airbags oh and t is gonna let me do this because he told me to press it press the airbags make the truck go boom press it hard make the truck go boom go ahead Look. Oh, you gotta do better than that. Hard, go hard. <laughs> Open up the truck, get in there. Press it. <laughs> truck went boom, man. What'd you think? It was loud and I don't want to be there. Oh, and team wants me to do this again. Alright guys, I'm back home, but I came home to some work. I had to throw some tin on this Mustang. But, um, I got the diff and I'm going to show you. Here she is. East Coast gave me this part. I had to take the um, spline shaft out and they gave me the air locker equipment, like the solenoid, the air line, and then these are some plugs or something. So I'm gonna clean this up and then I gotta put this rear mount back on there and then i'm gonna i still have to wait for the boots because i've done one cv axle and i ordered another boot kit to do the other axle and then once i do that i've already cleaned up the um spot where the diff goes so i've already got that cleaned up inside of there 
I don't know how well you can see it, but that's all ready to go. I just gotta get the CV axles and my beagles outside running rabbits. So that's what that is. But I need to get this out of here so it won't keep stinking up my car. Because I've had a lot of complaints about the gear oil smell. mountain solenoid this is the air system so this plug is in the diff I gotta use these aluminum washers banjo and the banjo bolt kind of like a fuel rail and then I put this in there put the ferrule in there and that that will basically tighten itself around the hose and put this piece so that's this piece here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in first. Let's see how that goes. All right, little update on the runner. Uh, I got the air done, set up on it. I got the banjo bolt in there, the adapter piece for the air hose. Um, can't really tell how good of a shot I'm getting because of the sun right now, but the airline's going through here, and then I zip tied it up here. It's not, it's not hitting the oil pan, but if I put my, like my skid plate here, the wind could push it back. So I don't know. This is the best that I could do for right now. I'm just gonna check for air leaks and stuff like that when I get it done but I did get the new axle in there um, the suspension is not it's still maxed out right now so this is hopefully this boot won't look like that once the suspension settles but I went ahead and got the CV axle connected got the um, four lower ball joint bolts in got my wheel spacer on and put the tire back on and then lowered this side and then lowered the passenger side just a little bit as you know i'm still waiting for the cv axle boot for this one and then i can put the axle in there and then i know you're not supposed to run this fluid in here gear oil so i gotta remember i know i've got a lucas bottle for my rear diff i forgot what it is it's like 90 140 or something that it's a whole lot higher of a number than that i just have to find it again but got the diff in there front with the one inch spacers that's bolted in got the rear mount bolted in got the vacuum lines hooked up so this <clears throat> that right there i don't know if you can see it This piece right here where my finger's at, that's a ventilator for the diff. And then these are vac vacuum lines here going to the diff. And then I ran the air hose here. Had to put the solenoid on here. This one right here. It's a little loose compared to this one but it was really hard to get this in here i ended up taking this off and we um i redid the 
white tape, the seal tape on it. Sorry, it's hot out here, so um, bear with me. And got this wired up, ran the wires through here, through there, and then run into the Octane box. I still haven't changed the fuse bomb box because it doesn't look, you know, clean sitting over there. But it works as of now, so um, wired it, ran the hose right there. So that's good. And once I get this CV axle in, I can fill up the diff and test everything out. But I'm probably going to not start the truck, but just turn the accessory on and then hit the compressor switch and then come out here and see if this, this is leaking. And uh, I was going to do it by myself, but I'll let you um, help me do it. So. Got yeah, really low low volts right now, so let's see how it goes. Yeah, I should have made the Teflon tape thicker because I hear like a slight leak in there. So I'll probably try Bluetooth hooked up to the Forerunner, but it only leaks when it goes fully left. So if it stays like this, I don't hear any leaks at all. But yeah, I should have did that better. I'll. See what I can do about fixing that. Everything else is fine. I don't feel or hear any air leaks that coming out of the compressor. Check out my pup. Buster. Sit down. Hey, baby. You didn't have to get out of the shade. It's another hot one. 